I believe that by FIBA lifting this ban on hijab, um, it's allowing a door to open, an opportunity for girls to take one step closer in pursuing their dreams and becoming athletes. About a few years ago, we designed culturally sensitive athletic wear, where girls were able to design their own uniforms in which they can participate in athletics. What the girls designed was this uh, more culturally sensitive athletic wear. As you can see, it still obtains to how like in Minnesota high school leagues, you would have to have the same color uniform, the same name, the, the, the players should be matching the athletes, the school uniform. So what we, the girls design right here is just more breathable fabric, um, longer sleeves, um, and the jersey being a bit longer to be more culturally sensitive. We have two pieces to it, is the front part where it covers um, your forehead. And then the second piece is the front piece where it has two Velcros for safety reasons where you can snap it on. And then the girls would wear the scarf like this and they, were, they have the option to leave this out or tuck it in. It was already hard enough to adapt to the American lifestyle and just struggling between being a Somali and being American and I wanted to be an athlete and that was another barrier. And to see that there's people out there supporting the cause of Muslim girls being able to play sports. I would say it's about time. It's 2017 and I'm really happy that they started to recognize that being an athlete requires your number, the name on the jersey and nothing else and just your athletic skills in that your background, your race, your religion does not have to do with your athletic competency.